The pandemic forced a lot of Hollywood to stop or delay production, but one local director has made do, and he's a good friend of our own Mark S. Allen, who is here now on cue to talk about Dion Taylor. Yes, sir. We've been talking about uh, Dion Taylor, and he and I have been making movies together for decades now. But he made national news this week when he became the first major motion picture not only to start up during the pandemic safely, living in a bubble in Placer County, uh, but also the very first major motion picture to wrap. There are 11 currently listed by the Producers Guild in production right now. His was the first up and running. I don't know how he did it, and he joins us now. Uh, it's Dion Taylor. His producing partner, Roxanne Event, also helped him out with this, and... Uh, Dion's up right now. Is this uh, early or late for you? I can never tell. You're getting me up late, man. I've been up all night. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right. All right. Well, we'll get right to it. A major motion picture, Producers Guild and SAG said you did it safely, and pretty much the industry wants to know how'd you do that? Um, you know, obviously testing every other day, you know, testing 65 people every other day uh was extremely hard to do but we pulled it off man we made a really really great film man i'm really excited about it and uh i'm just happy to be talking about it <laughs> well let's talk about it you made a movie about the pandemic during the pandemic you know that's crazy right <laughs> right yeah the idea was man the movie's called don't fear and uh yeah over the last couple of months man since we did the march and everything i just started getting in my head like Dion, like a lot of the things that we are seeing and things that hold us back as people are fear-based. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I just kind of got this whole thing in my mind, man, that the reality is fear is what holds us back from just winning life in general. And once you could escape fear, you could do anything. And uh, we took that approach with this movie and called it Don't Fear, which is a movie about nine people that go to a lodge to escape the pandemic only to have to deal with the fears that they have in their mind while they're there. And uh, it is a scary, scary film, man. Um, but it also is a great exercise in terms of like, when you see this movie, it has a very, very powerful, relevant message about how we deal with fear and, and how the fact that fear can kill us. Well, I can't wait to see it. And thanks for hanging out. I'm very proud of you, Mr. Deion Taylor. Way to go, man. Man, thank you so much, Mark. I love you, man. And congratulations to you on Paul. Proud of you. Man, I, see, oh, man. I, see, I see your movie, man. No, let's keep it on your quality motion pictures, if you don't mind. <laughs> hey, man, look, congratulations, no. man. I'm proud of you, Mark. Proud of you, too. Love that guy, Dion Taylor.